that one. A little different in the prep profile a yes. few months ago. <laughs> <laughs> for. At that time, you wanted to go to a four-year school, and you want to study biology and pre-med. Yes. Uh, it was at the end of swimming season. You had a great soccer season. This kind of icing on the cake for the senior year. Definitely is. It's it's been amazing, and this was the way to top it off. Five days off the school, and I got to sign, so it was exciting. Now, understand you, know, you had committed to or had an offer from Northern, but then yes. the coach yes got fired. <laughs> yes, the coach got fired three days after I verbally committed. So um, it's been it's been a waiting game, but finally decided to figure out who the coach was. So. Now, understand it was down to Nebraska and Northern Iowa, and a Nebraska coach is now your yes. head coach. Yep, and the Nebraska coach actually was one of the main reasons why I liked Nebraska. He's a sprint coach, and I really liked him, and now he's at UNI, so it's definitely meant to be. And who's that? Doug That's Humphrey. So uh, when he got the job, uh, he called you up and said, we still want you to be a Panther? Yes. I was, he told me he wasn't calling from the University of Nebraska. He was calling from the University of Northern Iowa now. And I was really shocked and excited, so I quickly called him back. <laughs> How tough was it when you hear, boy, you make a commitment all of a sudden? It's like the coach, and they say when you commit, it's to a school, but realistically it is to a program and, yes. and, and somebody who's been recruiting you. It was really tough. Like I really liked her. She came up to my house actually and visited, and but I was told that like this is a step forward and they're gonna try to improve the program. And I decided that it's for the better, and we'll see how it goes. Now you're a swimmer, but you're still a multiple sport athlete. But how how important was it to finish up and play soccer your senior year? Um, great. Like I don't know. I just love soccer, and I'm gonna miss it so much. Um, we actually just won conference last night, so it's been a real win of a 24 hours. But it's just amazing to be able to play both my sports that I love right now. And uh, you actually helped start the swimming program your freshman year yes. to be able to go out now as a scholarship athlete. Uh, what do you say to the the future Lodi swimmers? Just to keep working, like never give up. And, you know, there's always going to be hard workouts, but you get to feel better in the end and push yourself. It's so worth it. And for you, what, what will Lodi, what will you miss about Lodi? What, I guess, the whole four-year experience, what that, what's that been, that, you know, been like for you? I will miss like the whole community aspect in the school. Everyone's so friendly and like so supportive, and I really like love that. It's a really close-knit like town, so... But ready to make a road trip. Not too far from home, though? Yes, uh, only three hours, so it's perfect distance. I have a little distance, but I can also come back whenever I want. So. And then uh, you're going to study biology and pre-med, oh, and yes. would you like to? Is still the same idea? Yes, for? I would like to become a neonatologist as of right now. Which is? A baby doctor. <laughs> okay. And uh, so that's going to be a long time, right? Long, med school? Oh, and, yes, and lots of school, but... All right, well, congrats and good luck in uh, the rest of soccer season. Thank you very much. I think um, University of Northern um, Iowa is very lucky to have a young lady of Sierra's character to go there. She is a much better person than she's an athlete, and she's a heck of an athlete. And I don't say that lightly. So she'll be missed here at Lodi if we could fail her and have her come back for another year just to be in school. <laughs> no fifth year of eligibility. No, that's the problem. Um, we didn't redshirt her. No, she's just a great... Great adult, young lady, and she doesn't say kid anymore. She's a great young adult, and I've gotten, had the pleasure of knowing her for the last four or five years, even just prior to me coming here, anyhow. And just to see her growth has been amazing. She's a wonderful young lady, and I wish her the best, and hopefully she comes back.